Okay, my lovely students. Today we want to study a topic that is called water in chemistry for SS2 class. The objectives of this lesson is that you should be able to explain the meaning of water at the end, identify the sources of water, and also state the types of water we have in chemistry. And again, water is an oxide of hydrogen, which has hydrogen to oxygen as in the ratio of two is to one. That is, is a compound which has three atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Combined chemically together, that is water. It is referred to as a universal solvent because water dissolves all the known substances in the world, that is, the solid, liquid, and gases. Anyone, water is capable of dissolving them, and that is why it is referred to that. Sources of water. There are two main sources of water. One natural source. This includes rain, spring, lake, sea, river, etc. The second source is artificial sources, which include the pipe of water for township use, chlorinated water for use in swimming pools. Distilled water used in the laboratory in the preparation of drugs and in certain industrial processes. This type of water, you can also call it treated water. So let's get to the types of water we have. Types of water. There are two types of water based on the behavior of soap in it. These are hard water, soft water. Hard water is a water sample that does not lather easily with soap. No matter how you use it, no matter how you pour enough, you will still see that the water will not produce enough lather. Soft water is a water sample that produces lather readily with soap. For instance, take a little amount of your rainwater, just put any little soap there, you will see what I'm talking about. The little you will put there, you will see how the form will be or how it will produce lather for you. Such is what we call soft water. The hardness of water is due to the presence of soluble salts of calcium, magnesium, or ions in well, rivers, and seas. All these we have to see today and with this, I am concluding this topic on water. I want you to do me a favor to exercise your brain with these little assignments to tell me why water is referred to as a universal solvent. Number two, you distinguish between hard and soft water. That is it all for this lesson.